If you're thinking about implementing Odoo, but aren't sure which edition to choose, you've come to the right place. Hi, I'm Jeff Pudiak with Software Connect. Today, we're breaking down the differences between Odoo's enterprise and community editions so you can decide what's best for your business. Odoo is sold in two different editions, community and enterprise. And despite having the same name, they can feel like totally different systems in practice. The main differences I wanted to compare are how they're hosted, costs, features, and support. I'll start with the biggest difference, how they're hosted. The community edition is self-hosted only, so you can't deploy it in the cloud. It's open source, so anyone can download the source code for free and customize it however they want. You'll need a lot of technical expertise to pull this off, but it's a solid option if you have a good IT department. Enterprise, on the other hand, is much more flexible. You can host it yourself or use Odoo's cloud hosting. With the cloud version, Odoo handles all the infrastructure, but you still have the freedom to customize. So if dealing with servers isn't your thing, enterprise is the way to go. Just know that Odoo doesn't host for free, which brings me to my next key difference, cost. Because the community version is open source, it's completely free. You just need to cover the server hosting expenses yourself, but the system itself, 100% free. The enterprise edition has subscription-based licensing. Currently, the standard plan is $38.90 per user per month, giving you access to all apps. The custom plan costs a bit more, $58.40 per user per month, but includes extra features like external API access and multi-company support. Prices go even lower with annual billing. Honestly, it offers a solid value compared to other ERPs like NetSuite, which start at a minimum of $1,400 per month. It's nice because you can pick and choose which apps you want and add or remove them at any time as your business evolves. Like any software, you'll have to consider implementation fees that will increase the first year costs. So if you want a customized price quote from Odoo or any other ERP provider, visit us at softwareconnect.com. Our free services save you a ton of time on researching and helps you find the perfect fit for your business. Now let's talk features. The community edition is missing a lot compared to the enterprise. Odoo lists them all online, but one major absence is full accounting functionality. Community doesn't have a general ledger, bank reconciliation, or even financial reports, just basic invoices and expenses. You can add tools through the store or even integrate QuickBooks Online through third-party connectors, but it doesn't match enterprise's built-in accounting module. Still, it covers the basics well, but for anything advanced, you'll need to hit the web store. On top of accounting, Enterprise has modules like payroll, spreadsheet editor, and barcode scanning for inventory. It also has industry-specific tools like PLM for manufacturers or help desk for service companies. Another major tool left off community is Odoo Studio, which lets you customize your screens, reports, and menus. Overall, Enterprise is the complete Odoo edition. Every feature is unlocked, and you can pick and choose whichever you need. On top of that, you can create new apps without any coding, which is a huge time saver if you want something custom. Just drag and drop new fields or task automations to really customize your system. It's a great way for team members with no coding experience in your IT team to help streamline workflows. But one thing you can't get through a third party is support. With Community, you're on your own. No direct Odoo support, just community forums. And don't get me wrong, the forums are very helpful. There are a lot of experienced devs on them but it can be daunting to maintain and manually update an entire ERP without any help from the vendor. With the Enterprise Edition, you gain access to Odoo Support, which is just a ticketing system. Also, Odoo handles all the version updates if you have Enterprise, so when updates roll out, they're pushed through automatically. It's the better option if you value convenience over customization. At this point, you're probably noticing a theme. What's not included in Community is available in Enterprise. But that doesn't mean that community is a bad choice, it just comes down to what you need from the system. If you're on a budget and are comfortable hosting the system on your own, community is a great option. Because of its more basic features, it's best for small businesses that aren't ready for a full ERP system. On the other hand, enterprise is better for larger companies that need every feature like accounting, payroll, and marketing automation. It's also the only option if you're not equipped to handle technical maintenance yourself. Plus, the MRP and PLM modules make it more suitable for manufacturers. So those are the biggest differences between the two Odoo editions. If you're still not sure which one's right for you, visit us at softwareconnect.com. We'll give you ERP recommendations based upon your exact needs so you can find the best fit. Also, drop a comment about your thoughts on the community versus enterprise debate. Do you think community should have more features or is enterprise overkill? If you like this video, check out our full Odoo review video. We dive into the accounting module, break down its pros, cons, and pricing, and do feature deep dives. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.